will move into the regular select board meeting. Is that right, Dune? Thank you, Dan. Yep. It's yeah. a, a little bit different than it is specified in the town report in that we're not um, kicking everyone off of this Zoom hookup because then you wouldn't be able to hook back up to the same meeting. For, so we're just going to um, close the informational meeting and now um, open the select board meeting. And for all of you that came for the informational meeting, you're more than welcome to stick around for the, the um, bi-monthly select board meeting. And um, see if I find my agenda. And here we go. So um, to, before we start, does anyone have any additions to the posted agenda at this time? And um, hearing none, we'll um, move on to the, the minutes from the um, prior meeting of February 11th. And um, they looked pretty um, clear to me. I, I'd move to accept those if, if you guys have any modifications. I do not, and I second your motion. All right, all in favor? All right. All right. I assume that you're seconding the motion as an aye, right, Pat? Yes, aye. Okay, good. Um, and we have um, Kirk White as a guest. Kirk, are you here? Did you have something that you wanted to speak about? Mm, Kirk going once. Kirk going twice. All right. Um, so then we're going to, um, boy, you set a good precedent, Dan, with this um this um, Zoomy Zoom meeting with the, um, so Joan, do um, you have any updates for us tonight? Do I have to talk fast? No. <laughs> just clearly. <laughs> okay, um, just a quick report. Well, it is a quick report. Um, you're not gonna maybe believe this, but I did get word today that half of the amount that we're due from the state for the Bethel Mountain Road rebuilding project should be coming to us soon. And I know you've heard this before, so uh, don't hold me to it. But it seems that they're splitting the payment in two parts. Uh, so I'm not sure what, how much time will allow to get the first part and the second. But supposedly, we should be getting um, a wire transfer from the state of 100, about $170,000 and change sometime in the near future. And uh, really, we'll be on the lookout for that. And so. Uh, uh, we'll be able to let you know when that actually hits our bank. Um, see, I've been working on the town office uh, backup generator with Frank, um, and uh, still not quite sure whether we'll be in a position to put in an application on March 5th, but um, I'll keep you posted on that. Uh, did just receive notice today from VTrans that they are going to have a grant round this year for class two roads and for structure grants. Uh, it's going to be due April 15th, which is the traditional date for um, taking those grants uh, applications. Um, so I will be resubmitting the two uh, grant requests that I put in last year where we knew they were. Uh, the first one will be for the culvert replacement on Nason Brook uh, by Terry Severy's house on Bethel Mountain Road. And then uh, also for um, Culver replacement design work for a culver town line road where Hal Brook crosses under the road. Excuse me, did you say town line road? Mm hmm. Thank yeah. you. And uh, if you remember in previous years, uh, we always have a, an annual meeting with um, District 4 e trans folks where we talk about our hopes and desires for doing road repair work and upgrades and also talking about our financial plan and any other issues we might have uh, for VTrans at that point. Um, so they're going to be setting up those appointments uh, at some point in the future, don't really have a time frame, and don't know yet whether that's going to end up being a virtual meeting or whether it'll be in, in person. Uh, I'm sure time will tell about that. So there's some documents that uh, um, I traditionally have to provide before then, um, which includes the, uh, the town's financial plan, which is based on the budget once that is passed at town meeting. So that's all I have. So I, there was um, an email late in the day 
today um, about the repaving project in yeah. 2022 on, on between Stockbridge and Rochester on Route 100. And um, it seemed to indicate that they're actually going to, to grind it and resurface, not just put another coat on the top. Did you read it that way or did you see that? Uh, I skimmed it really quick, so I didn't. Because uh, Chris well, Bump had previously said that they were not going to grind it. They were just going to uh -huh. do another coat, which we know it doesn't do quite the same quality. Right. Right now, but in, in reading that, it, it looked like they were they were going to grind it, which is um, okay. it's a longer, messier project, but a, a better result. So that's kind of exciting. I got yeah. the same out of that, Dylan. Yeah. yeah. Sounded like they were going to grind it. All right. Well, thank you, John. Okay. Um, Tony, you got any um any um hot tips from the library tonight? I thought I saw you here earlier. You're muted. You're muted, Tony. There you go. Thank you. Uh, no, things are still the way they were and will be for a while. We're doing porch pickup. Thanks for your comment about the uh, level funding. That was good. Well, thank you. About all I have to say, I think. OK. <laughs> all right, thank you. Um, I guess we've talked a bunch about the highway. Um, Cooter is probably out putting salt on Bethel Mountain Road right now, not joining in a meeting. Um, so now really the, the main um, um, topic of interest in terms of new business is the parts of the town meeting open election positions that um, we were not to talk about in the informational meeting, but I guess now is um, the time to talk about the elected positions and if anyone has any questions about about those and, and who is who is up and, and it's Pat. You're um, up for um, another term on the select board, right? And you're you're still yep. willing. Yes, I am. And I do not. I don't have the um, the um, ballot in front of me, but I don't believe anyone has put in a request to run against you, have they? No, there is a, a write-in section on all of the candidates. Okay. Um, you know, anybody can start writing in their name if they didn't make their uh, the deadline to submit their names. But um, I plan on um, sticking around another term because we are still dealing with some real estate issues. Um, and I want to be a part of that and um, lend whatever knowledge I may have about that to the town as we progress into um, what may be um, future of the high school building specifically. Um, all right. Um, the, um, they were going to have, um, anyway, you've got the ballot in front of you. I don't. Is there anything interesting in there that, that um, any um, hot races or is it pretty much um, hold the course? <laughs> Um, uh, moderator Dan McKinley unopposed, yep. select yep. board unopposed. So, you know, so far, town clerk Julie Smith, town treasurer Julie Smith, uh, lister for three year term Jessica Arsenal, uh, collector of delinquent taxes, uh, Becky Klein. Uh, we have an uh, open position of library trustee. We have, me, uh, Pat, where is this? Is this in the town report? And I, I was trying to find it before and I didn't find it. On page seven. Page seven. Okay. Well, but this is not, no, the names are not on the town report, but they will be on the ballot. And Nancy, do you okay, want that's to where I saw them. Okay, yeah. sorry. Excuse me for interrupting. I'm sorry. I would like to say that there, we know there's a right, or there is a, an individual who will be uh, running for the library position. And that's Sandy Lincoln. That's a five-year position. Okay. Uh, anybody listening in, um, you know, they would be welcome to write in her name. She would welcome writing in her name. If you that's, re that's what we call recycling. <laughs> in a good way. In a good way. 
Um, Article 8, trustee of public funds is uh, Barb DeHart is running for uh, re-election. We have an open position for a cemetery commissioner. And then we have another cemetery commissioner where uh, Michelle Schnabel is running for that spot. So we, we do have the library trustee open and the cemetery commissioner open. So hey, can Pat. I ask on the cemetery commissioner? The individual whose position is being voted um, neglected to put his consent form in. So Joe Shankman will be running for um, the position and would appreciate write-ins. So noted. And also Ray Harvey has expressed an interest in the cemetery commission also. Hmm. Is um uh, oh sorry is Marv up oh, is, is Marv still part of the commission or is he retiring? He is still part of the commission. The okay. position the position is the one that Joe um, has completed his five years. The second position, um, Michelle Schnabel, um, was appointed to complete Java's uh position um, she would like she would like to run for the four-year spot she's on the ballot okay all right um thanks for filling that in that uh, information so anybody have any questions about that it's pretty self-explanatory um i uh, have have um okay jeff um, I have some questions. It's not on that issue. It's on the uh, Tritown uh, uh, Municipal Energy Committee. So whenever you want to put that in. Um, um, I just was wondering, uh, I guess we should clarify, um, in terms of the um, Australian ballot, there's, um, you can go to the school on the um, um, on that day to vote, but you can also request um, ballots, absentee ballots. I understand. Is that is that? Yeah, yeah. I did that already and voted already because okay. of my yeah. health. So. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just wanted to make it um, known out there that people don't have to go to the school to vote. They can they can request. Nancy, you want to speak on that? Julie, do you want to talk about the school ballot? Uh, yes. So uh, Monday will be voting at the uh, school, high school, um, just like we did the election. And we are also giving, we'll have available the school ballots. Um, and you can also call in to the town clerk at any time to request a ballot. And um, I, you can pick them up or I can mail them. All right. Um. So, um, Jeff, what do, you, what do you want to talk about with the Tritown Energy Commission? Is that right? Uh, yes, let's move with that lighting. I'll just skip that. <laughs> so, um, the Tritown Municipal Energy Committee, Rochester, um, Pittsfield, and Hancock met in December. Uh, we were assisted by can you folks hear me? I, everything is frozen on my screen. Yep. Apparently you can't hear me. I okay. couldn't hear what group you were talking about, Jeff, but you fine. Okay, um, you've come in again. Uh, everyone was frozen. So the, the Tritown Municipal Energy Committee, Hancock, Rochester, and Pittsfield met uh, in December, uh, set up um, an agreement to meet monthly um, going forward. Uh, we were going to be supported, or initially were supported by T Two Rivers Ottaquichi uh, Regional Commission. Um, their money for that went away, so we had support for one month, getting the town agreement together with amongst the towns and having one meeting. Um, the second meeting in January, I received in the 11th hour a notice that had not, it had not been warned in Hancock. 
Um, so we had to scrub that meeting, uh, reschedule it for a week later. Um, a week later, uh, I did not get any confirmation from the two towns that uh, it was posted and warned appropriately as it was in Rochester. Um, and no one showed up at the meeting, um, none of the members. So uh, set it up one more time uh, for this, this month and uh, essentially uh, did not happen yet again. So at this point, I'm feeling like it is doing more to hold me back on uh, looking at our needs in town than it is uh, helping us. Now, um, I think the way the agreement is worded is that uh, any one of the towns can remove themselves from it with 30 days notice. Um, I, can, I will research the actual language and see if there's anything more binding or constricting than that. But uh, at this point, I'm wondering why I'm spending my time doing that and not just looking at our buildings individually and, and, and along with GMP and CB Oil and, and uh, Fish of Vermont. So the energy committee um, is basically wasting your energy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I, you know, I'm, I've been trying to be non-judgmental and not pushy and everything. But at this point, I don't want to schedule another meeting without hearing back from people that I have not heard from since uh, early January. So it, it just isn't uh, seeming to do much. So, you know, I, I don't know that it would be, I mean, if you want me to approach the select boards of those two communities, I can do that. It just seems as though that communication might be better at the select board level than below it. You've, uh, you've done so much already to volunteer to take this on. I don't, I don't feel good about saddling you with having to be the, the school marm of, of this committee. Um, I think that, um, that you know, there, there are some things that might be beneficial for us to collaborate with them on, but I don't know that it requires that big long agreement um, that uh, two members ought to be put together. I mean, if, if we found something that made sense for all three towns or for two of us, mm -hmm. I think we could come up with an agreement that would allow the two com communities to do that. All right, well, thank you for um, for your energy on that and the report. And I guess that um, um, the, between the three of us, we should kind of um, do some inquiries and, and I would I would stop um, spinning your wheels on that and just focus your energy on, on the, the work that you've been doing on behalf of the town itself. I think that's my, my sense. What about you guys? What do you think? Yeah, let's, let's not burn Jeff out by trying. Let's mm -hmm. let's use his expertise wisely. Yeah. Having attended and responded once, I think that probably the best thing to do is scrap it and, and work on our own. And if we do find some common ground that would help either one of our neighbors, then we could probably deal with that too. So we should probably as a board draft some sort of letter getting out of the agreement that we signed with when Two Rivers was in charge of this thing and go from there. <coughs> All right. Thank you, Jeff. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Gals. Um, so really, um, is there anything else that anyone would like to speak about tonight? Or we, um, we're, um, Robert. Uh, this is just a quick question. Uh, the uh, Stockbridge is approaching its voting point for to take apart the merger. They have a, a information meeting tomorrow. There have been a lot of politicking over there. Uh, is this a, the select board's business? I mean, if, if for instance they vote, they vote it down, and then it's up to us. Is is it the select board's business to to educate the public, or is that the school board's business? Do you, guys, do you guys have a feeling on that or are you waiting to see what happened or what's your thoughts on that? Right now we're waiting to see what happens and, and trying not to get too worked up about it until it's actually presented to us as a, our, our response will be 
then required ours, the town, whether it's through the school board, the select board, probably both, if they vote to to turn down the union, then it is on Rochester's plate to to also respond to that and have a vote. But into that um, to, until that time, um, we have um, you know trying not to get too worked up about it. Now we did um, they the the school board did officially request the town of Rochester to um, say A or nay to bind the high school building by the 19th, a few days ago. And we worked with our lawyer and we drafted a letter requesting the um, postponement of that deadline in light of the vote in Stockbridge to possibly dissolve the merger. And and we um, they have accepted our request to put that um, deadline out till the beginning of April. So it's basically a, a waiting game here. Okay, and you don't know what the distance of time between their vote and our vote has to be? Do we determine that? I, I don't know if there is a specific required time. I don't think we we're, we're, um, we have to have a specific time. It's um, so that, that'll probably um, be cause for some special town meetings if that does come up to have some, you know, the town's input on that. This is not the decision that <coughs> the board is going to make on behalf of the town this is a, a larger issue yeah. okay thanks a lot yeah i would add to that that uh, amy will has uh, provided me with the um, account information on the school as to energy consumption and costs so um, and it's all in one big folder and it's not up to date but uh, i will uh, attempt to uh, clean that up and then see what the building expenses have been for the high school. Um, might as well look at it from the elementary school standpoint as well um, while we're trying to assess what our buildings uh, need. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Um, anyone else? I think that um, there you have it. So we are having <coughs> another opportunity for people to have the information about the, the our annual meeting um, um, this Thursday, the 25th, the same time, um, same Zoom channel. Um, you're welcome to come again. Maybe we'll see some new faces, but um, that's uh, we're doing what we can to, to make the information accessible to, to everyone that wants it. Hey, Dune. Hey, yeah. Um, I might suggest that if people have questions that they might um, send them my way and then I can I can give them to you for Thursday for the meeting if they can't uh, attend by computer or phone. I don't know. Just a thought. Yep. Yep. Yeah, if, um, uh, do you think that the Orca media will be um, this recording of this meeting will be um, uploaded to the website before Thursday. Mm. So people that um, keep track of these, um, this um, project. So this, that. I would see ORCA be posted on Thursday after our Monday meetings. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if they're uh, more efficient or less efficient with, um, you know, all the Zoom, all the meetings that are going on right now, but usually it shows up on Thursday after our Monday meetings. Okay. Will they be there on Thursday also? Yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously the Herald comes out on Thursday, but is there like a place on the, maybe the town website or something that people, how would people know ahead of time to? Um, They've got to be interested enough to um, to go looking for the information. You know, I did put in uh, last week's paper. You know, information about the fact that there were these two two info meetings before, yeah. and so yeah. there there's that's one way it was out, and I'm sure it was on the town website and places like that. Well, Julie has it posted or warned yeah. all over the town. Right, right. So people should know. Yeah. All right. Well, and we will see. The town report. Right. In the town yeah. report, also, yeah. Okay, um, thank you all. And um, thank you, Dan, for hanging on and um, being the um, 
the, um, the driver of this meeting on beyond the um, informational meeting. And um, we'll see you guys around town. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Good night, everybody. Good night, everyone. Good night. Thank you. Good night.